Since 1983, fame has helped business and education work for Maine. Contact the authority, the finance authority of Maine. You're watching Maine Biz Sunday, Maine's business news source. We're here today to unpack one of the state's largest and most important economic sectors, the tourism industry. Let's get started. We've got a lot to do today. We have a great panel with us. Our panel today are Robin Zinchuk, Executive Director of the Bethel Area Chamber of Commerce. Robin is also a member of the Maine Tourism Commission and former innkeeper. Bill Hahn, owner and general manager of the Country Inn in Rockport and the Cedar Crest Inn in Camden, and Charles Colgan, associate director for the Center of Tourism, Research, and Outreach at the University of Maine. Thank you all for being here. Appreciate you coming. Great. Thank you. Uh, this is, uh, we're taping this in March, so it's nice and dreary out. I think it was. Was it dreary when you came in? It's, it's March. It must be dreary. But we're all looking forward to the summer where everybody's getting plans going forward, and tourism is a big part of that, of course, and a big part of our industry, and that's why it's important for us to talk about you know, 10 to 13 billion dollars in revenues to the state every year in that sector, uh, about 150 to 176,000 jobs that are related to that. It supports one out of every six jobs in Maine is related to the tourism industry. Uh, so clearly a very important part. So let's talk about how it's doing uh, as a business. Let's start with last year. Let's see how we did in 2009 first. Let's do the post-mortem first. Um, last year was a tough year. At least that's what everybody's saying, that uh, sales tax plummeted by 10 to 20 percent. It really shows a steep drop. Um, Mike Allen, the Director of Economic Research for Maine Revenue Service, said, quote, I can't find one this bad, and I went back and looked into the mid-70s. I've never seen this kind of drop or, su or sustained like this. Uh, he added that the overall sales tax had declined 6 to 7 percent year over year. So, sounds pretty bad. Was it that bad? And what was your experience? And let's start with Robin. Yes. Uh, in Bethel, it was, you know, I, I think folks uh, had to take stock of, of where they were. Yeah. And uh, um, it, was a, it was, you know, it was a roller coaster, but I think that uh, folks really are uh, resilient. And um, we, there, there were glimmers of uh, greatness. Uh, I think the summer weather was a little tough. It was a rainy June and a yep. cold July. Um, you know, our, our economy is so, uh, so based on the weather, mm -hmm. um, you know, the tourism economy, that is. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I don't think that, it, that we felt that it was as bad as, uh, as the numbers show. Okay, okay. Bill, how about you? Was it the worst on record? That's what they're saying. I would echo what she said. Uh, we were off 7 or 8% at my properties. I'll bet we were off 15% up until August 1st. It all came out in August and September. October, all three of those months were good, uh, but the weather killed us mm -hmm. in addition to everything else for June and July. Well, I guess that's the question. And I'm trying to <coughs> you can weigh in this, uh, the kind of combination of bad weather, which we can't have any, we don't have any control. We, don't, we can't control that yet, can we? No. Uh, yeah. Keep working on that. Uh, we can't control that. We've got bad weather, but then the economy. Which, in those two things, what really hit us last year? Was it both? Was one more than the other? Um, there's no question it was the economy that was the biggest problem. Uh, there's a lot of hype, but the term Great Recession is not hyped. Yeah. Um, there isn't anything on record going back to World War II of a fall in consumer spending um, equivalent to what we saw in the fourth quarter of 2008 and the first part of 2009. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not only true in Maine, it's true nationally. Um, and w in the stuff that we track, you mentioned the uh, fall off in sales tax revenues. Um, we also track turnpike traffic very carefully, okay. and turnpike traffic was down year over year through September, uh, through August, began to turn up a little bit in September and October, went down again in November. Um, so we see both uh, a reduction in the number of people coming to Maine and a reduction in spending per person in Maine, mm -hmm. which is pretty much what you'd expect right. in the midst of an of a economic downturn. Every business has been going through suffering that same recession and the same downturn. Uh, and then there are different kinds of rates of recovery coming out of it. Uh, some businesses recover faster than others. What's the recovery time for a tour? How, how bad, when you have a really bad season, how, bad, how long does it take you to come back? Will one year get you back in the game? And will some never come back, some businesses? Robin? Yeah, that's it. You know, some people who have too much debt um, never recover. Yeah. Um, it's like other, any other sector. Right. Yeah. Other, other businesses are a little bit more nimble. Um, they don't have quite as much debt, and uh, they pull different rabbits out of the hat. Um, you know, they see uh, certain, you know, new visitors, you know, possible new visitors are um, dropping off, uh, for example, you know, corporate travel or whatever, and you create, you, you, you work on your past customer list, and you create exciting reasons to come back. Um, Last year was a big staycation year, 
Um, you know, we mm -hmm. saw a lot of folks um, inland uh, from southern Maine and the coast. And so, you know, I think that, like you say, it's it's very individual business to business. Yeah. We didn't see a lot of business closures in Bethel last okay. year, though. Okay. So people are hanging on. Yeah. Uh, Bill, how about it in the mid coast? Well, I've never been there? through a big one before, but, okay. but uh, uh, it feels better this year. Now, that may be partially just pent up demand from people that wanted to come last year and didn't. Um, my business, per se, has has altered itself in that I'm probably be seven, eight years ago, I might have had three buses all summer and I'll probably do 20 this year. So mm -hmm. so I'm I'm wholesaling stuff that I used to retail. The off-road traffic is what isn't there for me mm -hmm. anymore. Okay. Uh, let me move on to kind of looking, looking forward to this year and seeing what's going to happen. Clearly, uh, your customers are like anybody's customers, I guess, they're looking for good value, especially now with the economy. So I'm wanting to find out what how do they? How do tourism customers? How do they measure value? Uh, Pat Altman, director of the main uh, office of tourism, in this quarter is saying, consumers in this economy are changing the way they make travel decisions and looking for experiences with great value. So, how do they decide? How do you decide? How does a tourist decide if this is a good value and whether they're going to spend their money? And how do they get them to spend their money? Yeah, I, I, people are shopping on the internet and uh -huh. uh, they are shopping around. Um, I think that the world is our competitor. Uh, if somebody is inclined to come to Maine, there's a lot of information on the web. The state has a wonderful website. Mm -hmm. Most chambers and have great websites, and mm -hmm. a lot of businesses have great websites. So the pricing is all there, and I think businesses are looking to, uh, to try to be as competitive as they possibly can to get the customer trying to create some exciting packages mm -hmm. um, to give people a full experience, like you're not just coming to stay at an inn, you're coming to stay at my inn and I'm going to package with a whitewater, uh, you know, a yep. windjammer trip yep. or whatever. It, it seems to me too, like the, the, the internet's changed everything, is that correct? Absolutely. I mean, clearly from at least in the last 10 years, for sure, uh, people have more control over their, their, their how, where they shop for value for their, for their tourism dollars. Um, so I, I think that's gonna have an impact too. Uh, Charlie, what about gas prices? I mean, they're down now, right? That's good. Um, gas prices will remain um, pretty stable through this year. Okay. Um, the world economy is simply not strong enough to support much of an increase in oil prices. So gas prices actually have come up a little bit in the last couple of months. Mm. I don't think I don't see gas prices, um, absent the usual assumptions about crisis, uh, having much of an effect this summer. Um, our forecasts are that we'll get. Uh, visits, visits um, as measured by turnpike traffic will, will begin to grow, have begun to grow and so we will get more visitors back but we're pretty stable on total tax revenues suggesting that more visitors will uh, be very price conscious. There will still be a lot of competi price competition among um, people, among businesses um, and overall spending per visitor uh, will probably not, will certainly not grow, may even decline a little bit okay. uh, in this coming summer. Okay. Uh, we're going to wrap this segment right here, but we're going to come right back after the break and talk some more. And when we come back, we're going to talk about marketing. I want to know what works. There's so many different possibilities. What works for you guys and what should work for the region? And uh, talk about taxes and tourists, too, and how the, the tax reform piece, has that affected uh, what we should look for this year? So, let's do that. Quick round. We'll be right back. Maine This Sunday is brought to you by Bangor Savings Bank, where you can enjoy free ATMs worldwide.